Greetings my friends, Marcus Ochoa here and I wanted to make a very short video to answer a question that, that I've gotten on a, a few different occasions and it's a uh, pretty straightforward and, and, and uh, you know basic basic answer to this question and the question is what are the H1, H2, and H3 tags within within a, a blog post or, or a web page? And you know, I'm just going to show you really quick. If I, I'm in the WordPress dashboard right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add New Post. And I'm just going to type in a title. This is the title. Now, by default, and I know the theme that I use makes when it publishes my my blog post, it automatically puts an H1 tag on the title. I'm not sure if every WordPress theme does this. They probably do, but but I don't know for sure. But I know the, the theme that I use does. So you can check and see if the theme you are using automatically puts an H1 tag on your title. They probably do, you know. Nowadays, most likely they do. They may have not always done that in the past, but um, that's that's going to be your H1 tag is going to be applied to your title. Now you can do an H1 tag manually as well, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, just real quick, H1, H2, and H3 stand for heading one, heading heading two, and heading three. And you know, if you don't see see the option. Right here, this is called your your kitchen sink. Here, you click that button and it opens up uh, more options. You have your HTML editor, and you're gonna find this these options in your visual editor. And all you all you do within your post, if you want to give a sentence or a phrase or or something an H1, H2, or H3 tag, all you do is highlight with your mouse the text that you want to apply the tag to and click uh, whichever one you want. So for this one, I'll click Heading 1. That's going to apply an H1 tag to uh, Heading 1. You can see if we, if, we view, if we view the source, we can see H1 tag applied to Heading 1. So if I do the same for Heading 2 and Heading 3, it's the, the it's the exact same thing. It's just a way of separating your paragraphs within within your blog post, or you know, bolding something, or, or making your font a little bit larger. And um, you'll, you'll see here if when we when we view the source, you know, H1, H3, and those are, and those are what H H1, H2, and H3 tags are. And you know this is a purpose for SEO reasons. You're gonna want you're gonna want to use these tags. So uh, I hope that answers your question. Again, it's you know it's pretty straightforward. Once you see it done, you know, you're gonna you're gonna be surprised at how simple it it, re it really is. So if you have any questions, feel free to find me at at one of my websites. Send me over an email, and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.